Hi friends! I'm going to show you how to turn this into this. Let's get started. So first I painted this completely black and I have no idea where the footage of that went. I recorded it, I uploaded it to my computer, I haven't deleted anything, and yet it is not there. So we're starting kind of in the middle. Sorry, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I took a paintbrush and I, I don't know art terms, okay? So I kind of just dabbled the paint on there and tried to like cover as much area as I could. That wasn't really working for me that well. So I took a smaller paintbrush. I wanted it to look kind of like splatter paint, kind of like speckled rocks like granite almost i guess that's essentially what i wanted was to make it look like granite except for it's not so yeah but i painted the whole bathroom black and i thought painting it one solid color would just be too much of just one solid color and the shower is completely speckled so that's why i decided to do it this way i don't know i'll shut up now and just let you watch As you can see, I've made a giant mess all over the thing that I am trying to paint. So yeah, moral of the story is, don't shake your can of paint, use a stir stick. Now I'm going through with, well I guess not going through, going over it with a natural sponge for art. This worked so much better to create the look the kind of art deco feel that I was going for than the paintbrush did. I really, really like the effect that this gave the cabinet with the paint. I think it looked really cool. Also, sorry if you can hear a in the background, like a really faint whirring. Um, that's the heater in my bedroom and I'm not turning it off. It's freezing here.
before you ask, yes, I made sure to wait until the paint was completely dry before I put tape over it. I am not that dumb. I swear. I swear I'm not. <laughs> I decided to go in and paint around all of the edges of each drawer and door because, I don't know, I thought it would make it pop a little more. I thought it looked kind of dull with just being the black and gray and white splotches, so I figured if I painted some pretty distinctive white, um, that sentence didn't make any sense. If I painted some, if I painted white in distinct places, then it would make it look more put together and more purposeful and less like I let my three-year-old that I do not have, or my lizard rather, uh, paint my cabinet for me. That probably also didn't make any sense, but that's my sentence. And here we are. I haven't put the hardware back on yet, but this is basically what it looks like. Ta-da! I like it. I think the white really, really helped make it. That is the end of this video. I know I am torturing you, but I swear we're almost done. I think I will only have to make a part three and that should be the end of it. We literally just put the sink in yesterday. It's all up and running. I'm so excited to be done. I'm absolutely tired of doing tile. I swear I will finish this and I will keep you guys updated. I'll make sure to keep posting. I'll also make sure to post how I made this adorable little kitty cat jack-o'-lantern. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Comment down below if you are doing a home renovation or if you feel like you have something interesting to say or even if you feel like it's not interesting, let me know. I want to talk to you. If you've made it this far, I hope that you have a fantastic rest of your day. Mwah! Bye.